Darkwing Duck is both more endearing and has more depth than the show Breaking Bad was my kind of was how I concluded the sure. the conversation. Analysis confirmed. He was a sad boy, but you know, a realist. Yeah. <laughs> I saw someone the other day, they, they, they backed up the ramp at work, and I saw that their radio had WTF by Mark Marin on it. Okay, all and, right. And I said, oh, Marin fan. And she's like, oh, yeah, 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 I like, I like Marin. I was like, yeah, he's my he's my kind of nihilist. And she goes, he sure is a pessimist. And I'm like, a nihilist or pessimist? Pick one. Pick a lane. <laughs> you can't be both. No, it's that thing that people do when you use a word they don't quite know. Okay. And so when they repeat it back to you, they change it. <laughs> <laughs> They're like... Oh, this is probably what you meant. You're like, you're, I agree. He's a re- he's a realist or a pessimist. And you go, no, I said nihilist. <laughs> you heard me. Porky Pig's haunted holiday. As if you could have guessed. <laughs> it said it right there on the screen. I love the intro. As Porky Pig is looking through the holiday brochures to plan his upcoming vacation, he drifts off to sleep and finds himself in a haunted, haunted holiday nightmare. It says haunted twice. It does. That was in big, a haunted, haunted holiday nightmare. A drama in that paragraph. <laughs> Should have added a comma. It kind of threw Whoa. me off. Oh, I pressed start last time. I don't know what's happening. This is exciting. I think you know exactly what's happening. You just read the intro. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was drifting off to sleep. <laughs> Pay attention. God damn your attention skills. Is that a two-headed bird situation there? Why is he hitting the shoulder shimmy? Ooh, look at that little move. Make him shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and slide. <laughs> and slide and to the slide right. Slide to the left. <laughs> And uh, crisscross. <laughs> All right, go to the haunted woods or something. We gotta get this show on the road. Oh man, I'm in a state. Welcome back to popping and locking with Porky. You know how like sometimes we have episodes where I'm not okay. Oh yeah, I know those. Guess what? I am not okay right now. You mean our highest rated episodes <laughs> where I'm just unhinged? People like a car crash, you yeah. know. It's not a car crash. I have. What is that leprechaun? Why is he's, there a ball? Like, there's no theme here. Oh, okay. It is realistic, though. Leprechauns, when you stomp on them, they do split into two smaller, even smaller leprechauns. Everyone knows that. All right. I do like the bat designs. They're pretty cute. Keep off the grass. He's just like... It's boots? Boots are coming at you boots? now? Oh, it's, oh, it's leprechaun ser- shoes. He's serving your ass. I like how I can just leave. I don't have to take part in that at all. Hello, are you Porky Pig? Yeah, I'm Porky Pig. You've been served. Okay. Anyway, tell me, tell me, tell me about your stuff. Tell yeah, me about gotta, what's been going on with you. Uh, it rained a lot, so we had snow, right? If if people haven't seen recently, I mean, I think it's what the largest dense fog warning in U.S. history. Like, there's just a lot of moisture everywhere. It's fucking damp, dog. It's damp. It's dank. Not in the fun way. No. And it's just been a lot of moisture. The groundwater is high. Right saturated ground shit what's going on wow that was that's <laughs> the second time that's happened if you missed the first one but did you see how he like turns into smoke it's creepy he like now, solidifies what happens in looney tunes when they die well uh not what any of us thought mm-hmm. can i grab this it looks like you should be able yeah, to right, yeah cool I was told this is like the easiest game on Super Nintendo, and here I am, just, just fucking dropping the ball. Just dying repeatedly. Anyway, so, so go on, yeah. Yeah, I, I get home from work last night, still got my socks on, I'm in the closet. I laid ceramic tile, it's gonna get real home improvement dad for a moment. Hey, hey, you don't have to be in the closet with me. <laughs> you can be who you are. We can be out in the open. We can be, we can be out in the open, well, not where we live. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's pretty red around here. So I get in the closet. Uh, anyway, to, to kind of spell this out for you or, or paint a picture, I did a big undertaking. I put ceramic tile all in my basement because of the moisture that is want to occur in a basement, right? Uh, tile's easier to clean, all yeah. that stuff. All yeah. that. All the reasons you do tile. Jesus Christ, what wow. the fuck was that? You powered up. It was like a box of explosives or something. I, I love how you, were standing on. you leave it by itself for a moment. He's just, he's just pissed at you. He's annoyed. He's just annoyed. That's his default, is annoyed. I get it. So, get in my closet last night. It's the only place car- with carpet after laying on the tile because I want a cozy closet. You know, I want, like, a comfortable closet. Well, and if you're standing there barefoot in the closet, you'd rather be on carpet. Yeah. You know? Anyway, there I am, still in my socks, and I'm like, carpet feels a little damp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's never good. 
Carpet was damp. Carpet was fucking soaked. Oh, no. Yeah, I got a little... Uh, Did you trace back the source? Yeah, I found the seep. I have a, a, a mild seepage in my basement. It's the corner of the house. And there's uh, all kind. So naturally, I went to WebMD.com. I have cancer. Yeah. I, I have... Mean, it's fatal. You've got three months to live. I have crack cancer. Now what? Can I, can I climb? No, I can't climb. Great, now I'm stuck. You cannot. All right, so... You're the you're the homeowner. I am the homeowner. Yeah, you're the homeowner. So this is your responsibility. This is right. A, I have to. I gotta call my landlord. So you were probably panicking a little. Oh yeah, because dude. This I was is probably what the first major thing that need to be addressed. That's not one or two phone calls away. Yes, it is. <laughs> I gotta fucking deal with this. So you gotta actually deal with it. Here I am dealing with it. I still don't really have a plan. I have a couple ideas. I ran it by some people that I trust. And you have a couple of stop gaps in place in the meantime. Yeah. It's not like you're just pumping water into your closet right now. No. It is, and that was the nice thing is that it is just a closet. Mm -hmm. No one lives in the closet. Mm. I can close the door to the closet if I really want to and say, I'll deal with this in the future. This is a problem for future James. You just break up that. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> that this door. Do this doesn't exist anymore. I go to sell the house 10 years from now and they go, what's in the closet? I am. Uh, uh, how did you know? I died in the closet years ago. The cask of Amontillado. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Are uh, you kidding me? You get the flag? I got the flag. You got the That's flag. That's the checkpoint. So you got the checkpoint. Good. Go up. I'm trying. All right. Go up to the top of the hill to the left. Got it. Okay. See if you can jump up there. Running up the hill. All right. Come, on Kate. Come on, Kate Bush. Get it together. <laughs> Why does he keep like stopping as he's about to grab? I know, it? right? Does he? Does he grab? All right, so it's not that. What is that? That was fun. Okay, great. You can look now up. Okay. All right, wait. Let, let it get to the top of its cycle. I'm trying to grab it. I know. Well, maybe but I could grab it. Give yourself all the advantage you can. Yeah. You know. All right, go down and see if there's something down there you need to grab. All right. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Oh, fire. But it's not fire. <laughs> Evil little green-footed pot thing. Okay, so I do see a box with the up arrow. Is that? Oh yeah, that's gonna probably help? something. That's gonna help. That's you, gonna right? do something. So if you go to the right, you might land where you're. Yeah, maybe. So do you know? So I need to jump over position. here. Oh, I see. I have to actually jump though. Right. Okay. Yeah, you've been really half-assing the jumps this whole time. Dude, the game. It looks game a little is... sticky. The control. It's slippery. Yeah. It's kind I get of. A, it. It's a shitty game. So you're there. And then that happens. And you can go up there. Now keep, stay up there. Keep off the grass. Yeah, stay, okay, stay the hell up. I'll keep off the fucking grass. All right, you are dying. Anyway. Grab that cupcake. Nope. See, now you're up there. You're good. Nice. All right, see? Together, two of us, we can traverse the easiest <laughs> game on Super Nintendo. <laughs> Together! Together we will devour. Very oh, so that's exciting for you. I'm I'm happy that you're uh, on top of it. You know what I mean? I'm pro I'm sure you're not freaking out as much as you would no, initially so were. Last night, I stood in my kitchen for like an hour and did nothing and just cried. And I, I didn't know I just saw I didn't cry. I'm a, a, I'm, I'm, a cry. I'm a strong I'm a strong a cry. tough man. I'm a strong tough man. All right. <laughs> it was fine. I, I am a rubber. Fine. I'm a rubber made man for I'm, one thing. I'm a manly man. Yeah. Yeah, sure you are. Anyway, sure so panic. Ten o'clock rolls around, and I go, "Well, I'm done panicking. I'm going to go to sleep." Mm -hmm. Today, talk to some people again that I trust, that I value their like construction experience. Sure, yeah. You know, like yeah. this 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 cat was a, a contractor for twenty years or whatever. Right, you're not a real man, but you know real men. I do, yeah, yeah. And he goes, "Oh yeah, here's what you need to do." And what's awesome is that the thing that he told me to do. Was is the what, thing that I was gonna, going oh, to do, and I so go, satisfying. I go, oh fuck, validation. Yeah, it really is validation that's from nice. like another man, a, a full on it's man, the best kind. It really is because it's died. so few and far between. Yeah, you know. Well, uh, on the opposite end of the scale, though, while you were being a responsible homeowner, I slept for fourteen hours and just got up about an hour ago. <laughs> that's so not good, or maybe it is. I don't know. Why well, you feel good? I feel great. Cool. I would feel super. Anxious about that. Oh, why? Oh, because I'm like wasting time. I like to sleep during the day. But to be fair, I was up doing shit all night. Yeah. It wasn't like I just slept for a whole day, day. I just reversed it real quick. Yeah. I, right. I, I would so. be anxious about the time that I lost. You know how in X Files, whenever they get abducted. Wait, how is it lost time? They go through. Just hear me out. All right. So, you know, in X Files, when they get abducted, 
and they they wake yeah. up like nine minutes later and they're like we lost nine minutes Mulder's like we got probed dog right we got full on clearly we were violated he's like this is your first time getting probed well not mine nope I'm getting a little burnt on X Files I'm I mean it's only when you're watching it I think um, all at once and kind of marathon style <laughs> yeah. Now I'm playing I'm playing Elden Ring because the the DLC for it will come out eventually. I don't even know when, but I'm trying to get in that headspace for it for the for the new Elden Ring. And I got uh, X-Files playing in the background. Right, yeah, it's fun to just have on. I noticed a familiar name in the credits. I didn't know uh, uh Vince Gilligan was involved in the show. He's like oh, a didn't, producer. Oh, you didn't know Vince was a big X-Files guy? No, I didn't. I, I am just going to fall all the way down this goddamn tree. Yeah, this sucks. I gave you the shitty level. I like how a game over continue and it still let you go to the next level. Maybe that's what they mean by easy. Is right, they're like, hey, they, the if, game's going to let you have this. If you keep playing, we're going to help you out. He produced a lot of episodes. Vince Gilligan, yeah. Yes. I don't know if he wrote any of them. Oh, yeah, he wrote a few. Did he? Okay. He wrote that one Brian Cranston's in. That kind of makes sense. Is that where they met? Is that where Brian Cranston I think and so, yeah. Vince Gilligan met? Yeah. Unless Vince is a big Power Rangers fan. Goodbye, Power Rangers! Which I don't know that he's not. Maybe, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Brian Cranston played two. Okay, can we just appreciate that little pivot there? Because that was tough. It's nice. That's yeah. where I fell last time. Yeah, I mean, it's all, this is raw platforming, you know? Actually, it's actually really fun. Um, Are you having a good time? Because you'd think it would be just frustratingly difficult, but it's pretty responsive. Like, I'm actually kind of impressed. Okay. I like it. I like the sprite work. That's a big sprite. Very detailed. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fucking. Fleshy boy. There's no guessing who that is. That's. Porky motherfucking pig. So what did you think when you saw Vince Gilligan on X-Files? We were like, that makes sense. Yeah, because, again, I think he's... The thriller kind of aspect of the writing and, and shit. Yeah, Vince Gilligan is old TV. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. He's, In a good way, yeah. Yeah, he's done TV. Fucking, he does TV. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Everyone knows him for Breaking Bad, which... They should, because Breaking Bad is yeah, huge. I get it. It's huge. People love it. I like it. I like parts of it. I like watching it. I don't like it though. I don't like it as a show, but I do enjoy watching it. Why am I not? Making I don't know how to up? how else to explain it. It's it's cool to watch. I like the moments that I see. It's it's enthralling. Some great moments. But as soon as I start to think about it, it all falls apart. I go, oh, this is stupid. It's kind of stupid. But that's X Files too. Yes. So I, no 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 shame in liking the show. It's it's a great show. I we are deny that. We are staunch supporters of liking what you like. So right. yeah, everybody like what you like. You got to go in that hole. Do I? Yeah, go up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta jump. I gotcha. Yeah, and then press up in the hole. Thank you, because I was like, why am I not progressing up anymore? I didn't see the little bouncing arrow. So I could kind of think about it. No, you nailed nailed it. Hell yeah. All right, spooky trees. Uh, I thought that Breaking Bad started out really well. Oh, yeah. You know, I liked the idea that the hook of the show was great. You know, The pitch is amazing. Yes, the chemistry teacher has cancer is a chemistry teacher is apparently a fucking genius the can, genius of geniuses can do anything but he has cancer and he's a chemistry teacher a high school chemistry teacher has no money i know i'm gonna i'm gonna cook dope and this is america so you know his health care is shit yeah. this is gonna get real expensive real quick and even then his says, family's gonna be fucked yeah he even says he's like i have health insurance and he's like the doctor's like great that is worthless that covers half an ounce of chemo right and you're so, going to need about 10 pounds. Your insurance company is going to, they're going to pay $10,000 of your bill. I'm like, wow, cool. That's awesome. Aww. And you're going to owe $80,000 yeah. of that. And then when you die, your family will just be in crippling debt. So it's a it's a new year now. So my, my health insurance deductible reset. Mm -hmm. I was paying $8 a month for my Crohn's medicine. I'm now paying $22 a month Woo. for my, and I go, you know, we want to talk percentages. That's fucked up. I got to make a phone call now. Find out what the fuck's going on. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. fucking stupid. Something about... I, I didn't re really it. expect it to go into like the health insurance thing, but... Then don't. Go back into fucking Vince Gilligan. Yeah. Because everybody knows how Breaking Bad gets set up, and everybody knows how fucked the healthcare system in America is. Right. There's no... There's no I want to talk about the drama. There's no surprises there. And it's funny because my, my issues are pretty small time compared to a lot of people's. And it's just, yeah, it's emblematic of... Everybody else is, it's you just, know. It's just fucked. Just the way it's going right now for us as a country. Show keeps going on. Walter White feels like, okay, you know, he's put in a tight spot. 
He's doing to do the best he can. And I get that Vince Gilligan's pitch for the show was literally, oh, I want to take Mr. Chips and turn him into Scarface. <laughs> right. I get it. He's been quoted a bunch as saying things of that nature. It's a cool character, Heisenberg, with the hat and the glasses, kind of becomes just this, made uh, to be cool. Yeah, just just kind of becomes this very manufactured cool. Yeah, almost there's a mythology around the character now in the drug world. Well, you watch him create his own mythology. That's yeah. part of the show. People start to get to know him by his symbols, you know, blue drugs and a hat. And then the show keeps going on, and I go. Walter White, you're going to pull it out this time. You're going to you're going to turn it around. You're going to be like, "Wow, what the fuck am I doing? How do I get out of this?" You're going to start steering this a little better. Yeah. Nope, just gets worse. He just gets worse and worse and worse, and it reminds me of BoJack Horseman a little bit. Sure. The character just gets worse and worse and becomes you become less empathetic towards the character as the show goes on because the character never really improves or develops at all. But violence and my hard dick. Like, isn't he awesome? Isn't it awesome the he, way he destroys his family and loved ones? He's not awesome. Don't do that. Like the ex, don't do it. Uh, he's not awesome. That's the whole point of the show is that he's a bad guy. He's probably always been kind of a bad guy. I, I don't know, man. I think he's just a badass, and that bitch wife of his needs to shut up. She should have shut the whole thing down. Day I know. One, I'm, day, I'm being... day one, a real spouse would have been like, I'm leaving you. Goodbye. Yeah. That would have been the fuck it. I'm turning you in to my DEA agent brother-in-law. Right. He's going to handle it because he's responsible, family man. Yeah, I'm taking... Y'all want to make fun of how lame Hank is, but really Hank's the only one who's doing it the right way. And his name's Flynn now. It's not Walter Jr. So stop being a dick. Right. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of... It was interesting that you and I came to this conclusion last night. Oh, we both kind of don't like Breaking Bad. We're like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that's something we, sh- we had in common. That's... That's odd. It, it's not super surprising. It makes sense because we never talk about Breaking Bad amongst ourselves. Right. It caught me off guard a little bit. But what I think about like fathers and TVs and TV shows where they're put in extraordinary situations, the other one that came to mind that does do a good job compared to Walter White is Darkwing Duck. Oh, I feel Darkwing like, Duck's the fucking man. Yeah, I feel like if you want to look at a, an empathetic father figure who maybe is, I, I would say is a badass... You know what, for me, what they did really was they, they took Batman and it just made him more three-dimensional. <laughs> right. They're like, oh, Batman's actually a person. Bat- Batman has like a, a real team around him uh, and actually acts like a family member instead of just an insane person who lives below his mansion. <laughs> you know, so that's to me, that's Darkwing's biggest strength is when you get frustrated with Batman being kind of two-dimensional and being like, oh, okay, we get it. You're going to punch a guy to death and you're sad about your parents. Darkwing has a real bond with his family. Right. I did think it was funny, though, that Darkwing Duck is both more endearing and has more depth than the show Breaking Bad was my kind of, was how I concluded the sure. the conversation. Analysis confirmed. Let's get dangerous. If you want to watch a good show, go watch Darkwing Duck. If you want to go watch a really well-written, not-so-good show, you can watch Breaking Bad and go, wow, this, this writing's top-notch. It sure is. Don't think too hard about it. Right, yeah. Enjoy the enjoy the drama of it. Enjoy the performances, because obviously Brian Cranston's a great actor, you know? Right. And there's a lot of good actors on that show. Yeah, obviously, Bob Odenkirk went and got his own spinoff show afterwards, you know? Which, now that show's awesome. That's, I like that show a lot. That compared show's pretty to, cool. Compared to uh, Breaking Bad, I like it more. Mm-hmm. And it has the same kind of feel to it as Well, that, sure, it's the same creative team. Kind of a decent man going down a really bad road, but... I don't know. I like the ride more than Breaking Bad. Maybe because there's not as much meth. You know? That show's over now, right? Yeah, it's it's done. Yeah, I could only relate to Nazi skinheads so much. Right. You know. Oh man, this is tough. Hey, why did they? Why did he poison that chemical dealer? In what? Remember when he was buying the methylamine in Breaking Bad, and Thank he you. had that lady who worked at like the warehouse or whatever who was helping him get it. Yeah. Uh huh. In the barrels or whatever. And then he eventually poisons her with her stevia, right? I think he, uh, I think Walter White did that, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, he's just, he sucks. He sucks, right? He he's doesn't just, need to do that. He's just a shitty guy. And then she just dies alone in her apartment. It's awful. It's fucking it's terrible. fucking horrible. His quote-unquote partner, he fucking kills his girlfriend. Like, what a dick. What a dick. What an irredeemable dick. 
And I don't care that he got to die knowing that Jesse learned how to cook at the end. That is not fucking worth it. <laughs> no, not at all. Wow. It's going to be okay. Jace, Jesse's going to take up the... Jesse's going to make sure more kids get addicted to drugs. He's going to take up the mantle and, and we're going to be all right. What? This is fucked up. A hundred years. A hundred years, Blue Meth. <laughs> hundred years, BlueMeth.com. <laughs> you and me, Jesse. Or just you. Oh. And he dies. And he fucking dies. Um, like a punk. Speaking of having big feelings on things and like loving and hating them, uh, I rewatched a documentary recently that I highly recommend to you. Oh, really? Okay. Just because it's, I believe it's free to watch. You can find it on like Tubi or Amazon or whatever. Like it's, it's around. Yeah, you can right. at least watch it gotcha. with commercials. Uh, have you and I ever talked about Gigi Allen? Uh-uh, no. Not on the letters G G, that's the first name, and then A L L I N. Is this person wants to like look a, it up. Is this person like kind of like a performing artist, kind of yeah. like how uh, mm-hmm. in the same vein or maybe I think Gigi Allen, for whatever reason, uh, Klaus Nomi comes to mind. No, not the same at all. Not nope, at all? Not okay. even a little bit. No, nope, don't put those together. I won't. I well I didn't mean to. No, Just you're fine. The first thing that popped in my head. Um Klaus Nomi was uh was just a musical artist. Just a cool guy. Just a an eccentric. Gotcha. I think okay. he falls into that umbrella with the costumes and the voice and all that. Um, Gigi Allen was much more um, violent, confrontational. Oh. You know. Cool. He thought so. <laughs> he thought he was pretty cool. Uh, so the documentary is called Hated, the Gigi Allen story or whatever. Or- and I'm, I'm betting people don't have... High opinions on Gigi Allen. I'll tell you this: um, Gigi Allen considered himself uh, rock and roll above all else. All right. He thought of himself um, as a gun, and his performances as the bullets, and his audience the target. In the same way that Megatron thinks of himself as a gun. Nope. Okay. In the way, <laughs> not at all. That's... I've never seen. I've never seen Megatron stick a banana up his ass and then shoot it out on stage and throw it at people. Don't don't Google that. Um, it's like I bet one of have... the first scenes of the documentary. No, I'm talking about Megatron. Don't Google that and Megatron. Well, you because... have to commission that from an actual artist. Sure. Does Deviant Art still exist? You bet it does, baby. <laughs> you bet it does. Um, so yeah, Gigi's whole thing is he was born Jesus Christ Allen. Oh. <laughs> Cool. His mom was like, Off to a bumpy start. his mom was like, no, no, uh, that was your dad's idea. We're okay. going to change your name to Kevin. Good idea. <laughs> and he's got a brother who's his guitar player, Merle. Um, Merle's a little more alert, like, you know what? Merle's maybe, a little more with it. Merle's still alive. Maybe Jesus Christ was a bad idea. Merle's running the GG Allen Facebook page and shit nowadays. They and, went hard in the other direction. And We're touring just gonna go as with the Merle. reformed uh, murder junkies. That's his fucking band name. Hell Gigi yeah. Allen and the Murder Junkies. So if you want to look up their music and stuff, it's like, I fucked a teacher's corpse and shit like that. Oh. It's the lyrics. Like, it's all meant to be the most shocking. But if you think, like, Marilyn Manson is, like, for shock value, he's still, like, PG-13. You know sure. what I mean? Marilyn Manson's not going to piss on you. No, not he's at all. He's not going to cut himself open and smear his blood all over his fans. Kind of like Alice Cooper gets his head chopped up on stage. But, but it's he's not, a stage show. It's just a big... It's a stage show with safety precautions. Oh, shit. You know? Oh, shit. What now? Oh, God. Ah, sh- ah. Gigi Allen's shows would turn into just him throwing his own shit at the audience while they beat the fuck out of each other. Right. And then there would be a riot and heroin afterwards. I've been to shows like that, not that bad. But not I've, to that extent. I've I don't think to, you have. I've been to scary shows before. I'm sure you've been to scary shows, but you watch this documentary, you watch that footage and see if you've been in that room. Right. I don't think you have. Because these are like 8 by 10 tiny rooms where if he swings his arm, he's gonna hit you. I've been in so many situations where I go, how am I alive? Yeah. Sure. No, yeah, we've both been in those situations. How, how, am yeah. I, how am I still here? I should not have been there. No. This is rough. In this hindsight, where was my fight or flight? Like, why did I register such it's a like strong reaction in the moment? Here's the thing. I'm not going to go into the details of those moments because they're... Ugh. Yeah, that's the third space is freeze. You froze. I just froze and yeah. I go, I'm just going to ride it out. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fly. But we're going to wait. Yeah. Do I, I mean, start back at the other level or do I start Who from the fuck the knows? Level one. But is it level one? I, it's all level one. We haven't really passed anything. Oh, I just got to go back down the... Yeah, you're good. Back down the slide, dog. I'm okay. You're okay. Well, now you're not. Now I'm not. 
So I highly recommend watching it just because you need to know that these people existed. Sure. To make um, sure they don't, people like that don't exist again. No, no, not at all. No, okay. I'm fine with them existing. You know what the, I mean? I'm talking the about doing the, the bad shit. Well, the people in the audience consented to a good deal of it. At a certain point, you know what you're going to see. Yeah. Um, there is you, some pretty disturbing footage of him, obviously, that I don't condone. Sure. But as far as what he stood for, I mean, okay, uh, be rock and roll, I guess. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, you, you hate everybody. That was his whole, he just hates everybody. It's like, okay, well, you took that to its logical conclusion, dying face down in a fucking, you know, pull your own vomit or whatever. There's some funny footage of uh, his brother and a couple of friends talking about throwing him a birthday party, and they were like, we were trying to get him to come to this apartment, a friend of ours, throw him a birthday party. And he goes, I ain't going all the way there unless there's going to be somebody that pisses on me. So they hire a friend, you know, give her like 50 bucks, and she pisses on him for his birthday. You know? Happy birthday! And yes, you see it in the documentary, because you know who directed the documentary? Todd fucking Phillips. Oh, okay. It was like one of his first movies. Gotcha. Then there's a newer documentary where... So that one was made in like the early 90s. Okay. There's a newer documentary that catches up with like Merle and the other people that are still alive and kind of talks more about just the legacy. If you want the toned down version, watch the newer one. If you want the raw Todd Phillips version with all the uncensored nudity and violence... With all the pee. Watch the old one. Uh, do you have the documentary? I need I need the one with P. Is it? I need a lot of P. That one's hated, the Gigi Allen story. Okay. I think the other one's like Gigi Allen then and now or something like that. It's You can tell it's made like 20 years later. Sure. But anyway, I watched those recently just because every once in a while I think about Gigi because he's a fucked up dude. He's a really fucked up dude. I just uh, beat the vanilla villain. D.D. Ramon was his bassist for a little while. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like he was, he's known. He's definitely known. But... Really fucked up legacy. It's wild because I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. I've never heard of that person in my entire life. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably a good thing. Maybe he's been I don't dead know. since we were kids. Sure. So yeah. it's not like he's really a contemporary I'd have to go, of ours. I'd have to go seek out the stuff. You know to want he, to see it. You know who he looks like to me in the face. He reminds me of the dude. Uh, I think his name was Keith from The Prodigy. Remember just the stupid facial hair. Yeah. And st- a couple of piercings. Sure, yeah. Imagine that, but like more buff. Okay. And that's kind of what he looked like. More fit, more active on stage for sure. Merle, the brother, had like a Hitler mustache, the biggest sideburns you've ever seen. And that's uh-huh. it, just sideburns, the Jeez. rest bald. Bald with sideburns? It's bald, bald move. With, I don't even want to call them sideburns because they were like full on like triangles sticking out the side of his face. Sure, Like yeah. cartoonish. Regardless, it's a bold move, Cotton. With the dark round John Lennon sunglasses. Uh-huh. And so that's the vibe. I mean, that's kind of a cool look. It The wait, way you're describing it. So why don't it, you it wait sounds... till you see it? Oh, okay. <laughs> or put up a picture. Put up a picture of Merle. The 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 picture you painted sounded cool. All right, there's Merle and then here's Gigi. You can see Gigi for a second here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, he was friends with John Wayne Gacy for a while, visited him in prison. They were buddies. See, I don't know anything about like what people should look like because I look like I own at least two motorcycles. <laughs> I sh- sure don't. Yeah. You do. I own zero. Sure. I still own my Pokédex from when I was a child. That's fine. I look like so. I'm going to like teach you how to kickflip in 98. <laughs> Well, this guy, he, uh, he actually does the, uh, community ser- the community center basket weaving course. Oh, okay. What a cool guy. What a neat guy. What a, what a fun guy. You get there and you're like, this guy takes this basket stuff way too fucking seriously. Way too goddamn you seriously. Chill, you need to chill out. I'm in Dry Gulch. A lot of two, there's the two-headed buzzards again. I beat a boss and we're like in the second world now. This is going pretty well. I'm pretty proud of you, bro. Better than most games we play on here anyway. Mm-hmm. Most yeah, of most time. of them we get stuck. We got stuck for a little bit there. I mean, we're winding down here. Yeah. This is one of those uh, games on Super Nintendo that was... I, I think it qualifies as a Halloween game. Kind of a spooky game. It's not spooky, obviously. It's super family-friendly. But that was the vibe. Well, you know, I like that family-friendly kind of spook vibe. I have... Uh, I got this game. I have Tom and Jerry. That's kind of fun. We might have to play that sometime. Those are the ones that had the big sprites where they go, oh, these, yeah. are, these are the characters. Yeah, Tom and Jerry's dope. Yeah. <laughs> Hot take. 
Uh, Tom and J Tom and Jerry actually dope. Uh, throwing your shit at people, not so dope. No. Mm -hmm.